you do something that upsets me more than almost anything. You have a $5,377 balance on your card, and yet there were still five new purchases equaling $204. If you have $5,000 on your credit card, why are you making purchases at the 17.24% APR with total interest charged in 2022 so far $442.7725 in just the last month. Why? You're losing $77 a month and yet you still spent $204 on there. Let me guess, you probably did that because you only had a dollar in your checking account, right? Welcome to Monthly Money, where we take a look at someone's past month spending as well with their income, see how that comes together to meet the financial obstacles that they're facing and whatever financial goals they're trying to achieve as well. Today, we are meeting with John. John, how old are you and where are you based out of? I am 22 and I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Nice. And what do you do for a living? Currently, I work at a uh, smoke slash vape shop. How much do you make? Currently, I am making 17 an hour. 17 an hour. How many hours a week do you work? Full 40 hours a week. Beautiful. I also just um, am starting to now do uh, business to business sales with them as well. So I'll start taking home a um, percentage of commissions. Oh, what's that? Uh, what do you think that's going to look like? Um, I'm not sure. I think at first it's going to be a little bit slow. Um, starting to get accounts together and get people over to the wholesale. But I envision it certainly being something I'm pretty dang good at and can make a lot of money off of. I'm relatively good with sales. So I think it's something that'll be uh, beneficial to me. Very good. I love sales. Sales is great. That was my first uh, job post college. So um, big fan of that. Uh, so it looks like currently until a lot of that commission starts getting kicked in about $2,946 a month when you, you know, take an account for the year and then divide it by monthly basis with the 40 hours a week. And then after taxes, what do you think that's at? Uh, 2300 yeah, twenty three, twenty five. I try to, you know, pay at least amount of taxes I can, whatever way I can, as long as it's legal. So, now, what kind of financial like obstacles are you facing right now that you think I could help with, and then what financial goals are you trying to achieve that they're getting in the way of? Um, currently, one is my car payments. Um, another is housing, which I'm not sure there is any kind of better housing situation besides trying to move back in with the parents, but uh. Uh, yeah, so car payments, my credit card, making sure I can get that on in a good utilization ratio of like, you know, a third usage or less. I mean, right now mine's not looking too well, but I got low APR on it. Um, but my car is definitely killing me with a higher APR. All right. All right. Well, let's get that out of the way, I guess. This car, what is, what's the balance? The balance currently, um, I believe it is, I think I have about 16, 15 or 16,000 left on it. What's your monthly payment? Monthly payment is 425 rounded up. Say it one more time. 425 a month rounded up. It's like 424 and some change, I believe. Ooh, that's brutal for your income, my dude. (laughs) You're telling me. Honestly, it's brutal for any income, 425 to a depreciating asset. Yikes. You said low APR. What's that APR? Uh, that's on my credit card. So on, on the car, it's bad. The car, I believe, is a 7.2, I believe, percent, roughly. Gosh. So what is this car? It's a 2013 Mazda Miata. Grand Four Edition. I love that thing. 2013 car that you're paying $425 a month on for a car that was almost a decade old. Well, actually, because they're always titled the year after, it is a decade old. What? Uh, when did you purchase this thing? I bought it about two, two and a half years ago. Um, bought it at 40,000 miles. What was the purchase price? The, it was, I believe, 19 and some change. Two years ago. Hmm, that's interesting. Ooh, hmm. I want to look at the value of the car. Ooh, what's your term length? Seven years. 
Seven. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Why? It's probably because you didn't know, right? It's it's a sports car. I was young. I made a bad choice. Ah, no, you're supposed to tell me it's because, well, you essentially said it was because you're stupid. You were stupid, which, <laughs> which we, we've all done stupid, so it's okay. Um, <clears throat> well... I'll tell you what, it has given me the most joy I've ever had in these past two years, so I can take some some joy from it at least. What an American statement to have. How how has it given you the most joy? Um, there's a great road up in North Carolina called Tail of the Dragon. I believe like 318 turns and 11 miles. It's, it's a sports car is kind of paradise. So I take it on road trips with me and my girl, get some good bonding time together. So I had a lot of adventures that give me happiness. He prefers his car over his girl. Mm. Uh, what's the balance on this? Uh, 16000 Yeah, roughly 16000 left. Yeah. I think I've just gotten part of the past where it, uh, it's effectively worth less, even though my balance is higher. But if I can refinance it, I'm hoping to get in a better situation. Is it the sport club or grand touring? Grand touring. How many miles? Bought it at 40. I'm currently at 90. Americans in their cars. Americans in their cars. Oi, oi, oi. Killing me. It's truth, man. It's truth of that. 100%. Half my heartburn comes from Americans in their cars. Hey, you know what? I can just sell it and get a motorcycle. I heard they're even better. Uh, what's the condition? Condition? Very good. Well maintained. I assumed as much, yeah. Yeah, you're a little underwater in it right now. Just a little bit, yeah. Probably just by a couple thousand dollars. That really, really, really sucks. Because I think if you were able to... Dang. I could have sold it like a couple months ago. Oh, I wish you did. <laughs> it could have... I know you really like it, but it could have given you like just a help, a real big help to whatever the future is going to be, especially since we haven't even talked about housing and stuff, but now you're underwater. So crap. All right. So we do have two accounts that I have here. I have Navy federal checking. So let's look here. Do you want me to resend those? I excluded a page. That I thought maybe had personal information on it so I can, Oh, maybe it was that, and that's and that's fine. What what's what's the balance in your checking account right now? Currently, I have a dollar. Why? How? How? Why? I had a uh, I had some stuff I had to pay off this month. Why did you have to pay off this month? An attorney for a ticket I got a while ago. <laughs> For a ticket? Why are you paying an attorney for a ticket? Why didn't you just like take the online course or whatever? I, I've had to use that in the past before. It wasn't within the same time. So this car is getting you into more trouble than just the loan. Jeez. How much was this attorney? The attorney was a total of 6000 Oh, for a ticket? Whoa, why was this ticket so important? Because it was a reckless driving, plus I work at a smoke shop, so some of the stuff in there they wanted to consider a um, drug-related object. Oh! Yeah! And... Uh, was this... Mm. Yeah, it sucked. <clears throat> Don't know anything anymore. So you won? Yeah, yeah, I got it dismissed. But it cost a bit of money to deal with that so but i don't owe anything else to the attorney anymore so this is just from here building up basically from zero at this point back to what i hadn't saved up what did you have saved up you know about six thousand. <laughs> oh my goodness yeah so that doesn't make any sense then if in this statement period when was this when was the six thousand dollars uh this was like Two or three months ago. That doesn't make any sense then. If you, what are you doing? Why are you going to Chick-fil-A? Why are you going to 
um, Moe's. Why are you going to getting barbecue? Why are you, why are you Venmoing people? Habits. Why are you door dashing? Of all things, door dashes. Go pick it up yourself. McDonald's, Mod Buford, Chick Fil A. I wasn't even upset when I was initially viewing these until you just said what you said, and now I'm suffering. Now I'm suffering. There's pain. Oh, Popeyes. Oh, I just spent six thousand dollars. I only have a dollar. Let me go get some Popeyes. That doesn't make sense. Cash apping, zelling, Chick Fil A, in because we just need more chicken with our one dollar. And McDonald's and Culver's and Cash App and Culver's and DoorDash, dude, and more Culver's. Cash App was uh definitely to help pay off the attorney. It, my I had to send him some extra to cover what I didn't have after you know a few extra dollars. So. I was a part of that. Going Culver's and Bubba's and... So I live about an hour away from where I work. So when I'm up in that area, I work a full day. So I end up getting hungry and I don't meal prep well. Oh, well, it's time to meal prep well. You don't have any money. You literally have a dollar and you owe $15,000, $16,000 on this car. There is no more I don't meal prep well. There's you prep only the nutrients you need to exist until you have at least a hundred dollars in your checking account. You, this is insanity. This is insanity. Definitely need to stop eating out. Yes. Um, not to be clear, my voice is raised. My blood pressure is shot. I'm not angry at you as a person. I am angry at the situation and the chaoticness of its nature. Not it's totally you. fair and justified. I'm that on the inside right now. <laughs> uh, and be nice to him in the comments. We're trying to fix this situation, so don't hurt him too bad. Uh, but if you do like it, make sure to give this video a like so that YouTube recommends it to more people. Don't forget. I, I need I need the uh, need the help, man. And I need to just stop eating out a lot. I will say a lot of these, um, I do get paid through the through the job. They give me a $20 for lunch. So half the stuff that is going out is paid through by the company. Would they give you that $20 if you didn't go though? Or do you have to like submit a receipt? Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. You can do those. That's fine. Just don't spend over that stipend. Not a cent over. Yeah. Sometimes I do go a little over, which is not good, but I try to stay within the 20, but then, you know, of course the tips that they do do take about five bucks more than the meal. You do something that upsets me more than almost anything. You have a $5,377 balance on your card, and yet there were still five new purchases equaling $204. If you have $5,000 on your credit card, why are you making purchases at the 17.24% APR with total interest charged in 2022 so far $442.7725 in just the last month why you're losing $77 a month and yet you still spent $204 on there let me guess you probably did that because you only had a dollar in your checking account right uh i need to look and see what those for but Probably something along those lines. I'll tell you what they're for. Google storage, not a necessity. Juicy crab, yeah, that's that's real needed in order to survive for eighty dollars. And some uh, Garrison party, but yeah, I shouldn't have spent that on them. <laughs> and Garrison's International, don't know what that is, but eighty six dollars. Hemp Heaven, Hemp Heaven for twenty one dollars. Do you need it to live? Is that where you work? Yeah, that's the vape shop that we uh, we're getting some product from. Stop giving them money. Only take money from them. You don't have money. No. And then an Amazon purchase. Can't see what that's for. But oh my goodness, my heart's racing right now. You're, you, I'm, you're breaking me down. I, I'm, that, I'm already broken on the inside, man. <laughs> I feel it. Well, I don't want you to be suffering. So, do you have any? First of all, do you have any other debt besides this? Do you have like student loans or anything? No student loans, no any other debt. What's your monthly rent? Monthly rent is four fifty. It's as much as your car payment. Should just be living in your car. No, I'm kidding. Don't. 
Uh, but um, okay. Yikes! So essentially, two thousand four hundred dollars every month after blah 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 everything, um, and then after your car and rent, and then let's throw utilities in there. You're probably at what, like a thousand, a hundred dollars in minimum payments to survive, right? Yeah, probably thousand two hundred ish, realistically. The uh, oh, the credit card debt sucks. I don't think this becomes. Uh, what's your credit score? My credit score. Let's see here. I think I can look that up right now. Uh, last I checked, I believe it was like six ninety seven or low sevens. Ooh, six seventy eight right now. I was thinking about a car refinance, but with where interest rates are right now and being under seven hundred, I'm I'm not sure. That was going to be my goal, but then I was thinking also I should just maybe pump down the credit card and make it lower, and then once I get my credit score my credit score higher, I can go and refinance on that car. Yeah, I mean it's difficult because even if you were to sell your car and borrow what's needed for a used car that's cheaper and the remainder of the balance, it it would really not be saving you much because really your car loan. $16,000 isn't an insane amount of money. It's just very bad for your income. So no college? No college, no. No certifications? Uh, first responder. I have a couple medical certifications and stuff, but none of them are owed. They were paid through by the state. Uh, why aren't you doing that? Uh, paid less, believe it or not. Really? Okay. Yeah, horrible schedule, less pay. Benefits were decent, but they're decent if you're an 80-year-old man who needs constant medical stuff. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, it's time to get that commission rolling. Sell as hard as you can. So after utilities and everything and after your rent and your car payment, I'm seeing probably $1,200 gone which gives you $1,200 to play with post taxes on a monthly basis on average. So with that, what non-official financial advice, what I would do if I were in your shoes, I would set aside $300 a month that is spent on groceries. No more, no less. That is groceries to eat. Maybe an extra $100 for extra things like toilet paper and blah, 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 and extra necessities. Uh, that, and then you do not spend a penny over, and you're tracking every single cent that is spent on that. And then after $400 is gone, you have $800 to pay, play with. $800 a month. No, not $800 a month. I would probably save, with your rent and car payment, I would probably take that $800 for two months, Put that in your checking account so you have $1,600 put, uh, put there. What's your minimum monthly payment on this credit card? Monthly minimum on the credit card. Let's see here. You mean the minimum I have to pay off or just the... Yeah, the minimum you have to pay on a month monthly basis. I can't see on my statement. Yeah, let's see here. I'm trying to see where I find that. Cause... Well, it, it's fine. It's fine. Um, okay. So, how committed are you to this? Because we're about to have a test. How committed are you to this? I need to get my life together, so committed. Okay. Go get your credit card and go get a pair of scissors right now. Okay. Make sure it's not showing nothing. Beautiful. Proud moment. That's good. Okay. So, this credit card... Do you and your girlfriend live together? No, currently. Okay. The girlfriends cost money, I will tell you that. <laughs> well, not anymore. You need to make sure that they know that you are trying to get out of a disaster and better your life. And if they don't respect that, then they're not a good partner to have. So your home, you say you live an hour away and you're renting. This parent situation that you mentioned... One, are they open to you moving back home? Two, does that change your commute? And if so, how? I believe it would be the same rent that they would be asking for. Um, Location-wise, 
it'd be maybe 10, 15 minutes closer to work, but the current room I would be able to stay in is unavailable due to it being used as storage for my dad's business he's starting up. They would make you pay this rent even though you're like, mom and dad, I'm trying to better my life here and get rid of the mess I've gotten myself into? My dad works at a bank. <laughs> he's a, He's kind of a I'm kind of hard-headed when it comes to money situations. He's kind of like, you know, you got to learn learn for yourself sometimes there, bud. Uh, yeah, and that's what you're doing. You're trying to better yourself and sacrificing moving back in at 22 years old is, what? I don't like this guy. What? If he's a, if he's a banker, he should know the kind of crap you're in. Okay, well, yeah. Yeah, fine. We're going to say that they would make you pay that rent, which is stupid. But So you have this. $800 on this credit card because this is seriously what's left after you do $400 on necessities, $300 on groceries, $100 for whatever else. Ah, crap, there's gas too. So, hmm, dang, you drive far. When's your lease done? What was that? When's your lease up? My lease it is up. Well, I can either renew in December or... I can figure something else out. Would you be able to move to the town that this is in and keep your rent similar? The current price for a single person apartment is about twelve to thirteen thousand a month. Um, well, hundred. Yeah. There's basically nothing in Atlanta for under. Uh, your best you're going to get is around eight hundred. I got really lucky because my um, current roommate's uncle owns the place, so we have a good family deal on it. Hey, okay. Uh, yeah, maybe you're staying there for a bit. That commute, though, and the gas, and I'm trying to squeeze as much money out of this as possible. So, three hundred dollars on groceries, then two hundred dollars on what you need to survive, including gas, leaves you with five hundred dollars extra a month. And seriously, on these categories, if you're really, really willing to do this. You are not allowed to spend a single cent outside of that. And go cheaper if you can, because any extra money will help. But $500 a month is what is left. With this card, where... Obviously, you're not spending on it anymore. That's why we cut it up. And that's fantastic. That's good. There is no more spending on this. Digging yourself deeper into a hole. Are you able to work extra hours? Mm, not while doing this... Uh this business to business sales as well as working in the actual location because they're going to be taking all my days off. That's right. So the business sales. Okay. Work as much in that as you can bring as much commission as you can, because even at $500 extra a month being thrown at this card, it's still going to take you 10 months to clean it up. And then we can, and only then we can start addressing the car. So uh, just because of your situation, we need to get the revenue situation in your life up as much as possible. So drive that commission train, work your off harder than you've ever worked before for the next year, two years, because at 24, imagine what 24 looks like. You're in like the golden era of no debts, probably making a good commission at that point. So many decades left in your life and just being able to save and invest is incredible. But what you have to do right now is minimize every single expense you have maximize all the commission you can possibly make and put any single penny, any single penny over that $500 that you can towards this. Try to bring that 10 month payment down to, try to bring it down to like six or seven months. If you're able to, I mean, you should bring able to bring in $500 of commission a month, right? Easily. Yeah, definitely. Then I, yeah, probably even more. So I don't see why this, you know, maybe even five to six months, all of a sudden this credit card is paid off. Then boom, that's awesome. You all of a sudden, it might make sense to refinance the car at the time. If you can, if interest rates are crap and the credit score doesn't improve as much as we'd like it to by paying down this card, then okay, you don't do it. But you take that same energy and the same amount of money you're making in the same methodology and you're putting it towards that car. Now that car is going to take longer than this. Um yeah. It's going to take three times as long. By the time we're there, it's probably still going to take around three times as long. But if you are seriously willing to sacrifice and just go 
as hard as possible, your life is going to be so incredible. Find ways to motivate you. See what it looks like on the other side. Picture those goals that you're trying to achieve so that you don't get burnt out as much as, you know, someone normally would in this situation. Because, I mean, I'll be honest, you're not going to be able to spoil your girlfriend. You're not going to be able to spoil yourself. There's going to be some times that it feels kind of crappy that you're just working. But remember, you're doing it to clean up the mess that you've gotten yourself into, and you're doing it so that your life is insanely better after all of this. And I think it will be. 100%. I hope so, man. That's the goal. Okay, so... We had you cut up a credit card. That was good. So you're not spending on it anymore. I don't think credit cards are for you just based on your spending. That is not a bad thing. Some people are, some, the minority can do credit cards. The vast majority cannot. You cannot. Just stick with debit. That's fine. Debit and cash. That is, that is your friend. So what are your thoughts on this process? I think that makes the most sense. Um, I think one thing that definitely still is hurting me is the, the amount of travel I'm doing. Uh, definitely eats away at gas um and there's nothing similar so and crushing this as soon as i can and there's nothing similar closer to you the original location i was started at for this business was closer um then they opened a new location and needed my expertise up there he's going to be opening two more locations but they're going to be same in that kind of uh like hourish away area so i might get moved to one of those as well as take on a pay raise when I go there as well. I was just going to say that if they're moving you around to take advantage of your expertise, make sure you leverage your income on that because you're an asset. And typically in these more retail type spaces right now, the worker economy in that area is still incredibly tight. Usually they are desperate to hire. Use that to your advantage right now and get a pay increase at least once a year. Absolutely. I've gotten a um, pretty ridiculous pay increase since I started here. About two years ago, I went from starting around 13, I'm only at 17 and, you know, under two years. So. Good. And now you're bringing on commission as well. So anything you can do to amp that up and this might suck. No, this will suck, but really it's for your future. Anything, if you can run Uber Eats when you're not at work, like anything you can do to bring in some extra money. I know that depends you know, town per town, depending if it's worth it or not for the gas, the mileage, all that stuff. I know in this town, it very much is worth it. Uber Eats, people make a killing here. I, you would just have to determine that for your own. But in any moment that you're not working right now because you're losing so much money is, is a waste. Totally makes sense. All right. Well, we are definitely going to follow up with you. I'm excited to see this journey make that commission, make that stuff, have this card gone in six months. And when we talk in six months, this card should be gone. Agreed? Absolutely. We'll have it paid down. Sweet. I look forward to that. And that, that'll be great. Any final thoughts? Appreciate you so much, man. I'm, it's a pleasure actually getting to talk to you for once. And I look forward to this journey and getting my life turned back around. A big thanks to John for being on this show and sharing with us all his financial experience right now and us coming together to create a financial plan that would you know make his future better. If you're interested in being on this show and there's financial struggles that you're dealing with and you would love my take on it, email castingcalebhammer at gmail.com, which is linked in the description below as well. Shout out to my four cups of coffee supporters of Dio Martinez, Mark, Josh Blennett, Bennett, Clayton006, Tyler Chong, Drew Smith, Timothy Williams, Sam I am, Jason Spriggs, Nicholas Daly, Tom L, Jay Freedom, and Hans. Eight cups of coffee supporters making the dream come true. Joseph Strickland, Anthony, an anonymous supporter, and Sam V03. Subscribe and stick around for more. Thanks.